to your rest back for another video and today we have the nintendo oled switch if you're first time switch owners just like us welcome welcome also let us know in the comments what are the first games did you buy this is the bundle we got it for $3.99 now you could buy it solo for around $350 put a link down below our bundle came with a bag 128 gig micro sd card and a one year online membership here's your barcode or serial number so let's stir it up side of the box shows you what's inside Cause I'm trusting when we open it. Then we have our OLED switch nicely packaged. Take out the Joy Cons. Really liking the white matte look. Got your analog sticks, D pad button, XYB, plus minus home screen and print screen. You also got your trigger and your shoulder buttons. Once you turn it on the side, this acts as two controllers. Then you got your shoulder buttons up here. Let's take out the OLED 7 inch screen. Got that nice glossy screen. One thing I do recommend you guys doing is putting a screen protector, prevent it from scratching. At the bottom, this is where you power it up. You got the USB C port. On the side, this is where you slide your Joy Cons. It has these rails. On the top, you got the on and off buttons, volume buttons, speakers, headphone jack, and this is where you put your physical game card. And to open it, you kind of have to do like Put your fingernails in there. I wish this is something that would have made it a lot easier to take off or open. If you have short fingernails, it's a little bit hard to dig in there just to open it. And just kind of wiggle your way around. We have one of our games here. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to put it in. Cool, you still have that nostalgia feeling having a card. Now you can also get a digital one you can download online. Surprised it didn't come with like a manual booklet. Putting it in, making sure the sticker is facing the same way as the screen. Push it down. And it's spring loaded. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like you have a manual here. We have your power brick. HDMI cable, also labeled Nintendo. Got your Joy-Con grips, show you guys how to put it in later. Then we have your dock, you got the white finished look, USB-C on the side. You got your USB-A at the bottom, this is where you slide it to connect your OLED switch. And this is the front, you got that Nintendo switch. And at the bottom here, you got the light indicator, show that it's connected and it's docked. Now at the bottom here, it's nice that you have that little bit of texture here. Give it a little grip so they won't slide on the table. Nice that it doesn't slide as easily. Better having it just like a plastic like this. Almost forgot about these. These are straps for your Joy Cons, preventing it from flying off when you're playing. We'll also put a timestamp below in case you guys want to fast forward, skip, go back to the parts that you guys want to see. To connect to the internet, power, and also the HDMI, this comes off. Just kind of pull. Got three ports for your internet, HDMI, and the power. Just wanted to show you guys. Once you plug all your wires in, it's nice that they have this little hole here so it doesn't get in the way. Put the cover back with these two slotted holes. Just push. Nice and tuck. On the back, you have this nice kickstand here. I can open up. Could go way more than 90. Also, this is a good amount of stiffness in there. You don't have to worry about your, your screen flopping down. It's nice that you can adjust it. Now the Switch comes with a 64 gig storage. You can also boost that up by putting your micro SD in here. It could go all the way up to two terabytes. Just show you guys how to install it. Just copy the orientation, slide it in, and you're good to go. And this is also spring loaded, so you'll know if you installed it correctly. It's on the Joy-Con trash. Just make sure you match your the minus with the plus. Start from the top, you got these rails. Just slide it down till you hear that click. You have the latch at the bottom, make sure it's fully locked. So just push it up and yeah, just know that's gonna come off now. And to release it, you have the button here. So let's go ahead and push this down first, unlock it, slide up. Press the button, tighten it. Good to go. So it doesn't have to fall. Same with the other control, match the plus. Slide down, click, lock it in. Let's try the grips. This one gives you more of a control feel. You can still do it this way. Or if you're playing two player mode, tilt it on the side. This just gives you a better hold. So the way to put it in, you just go ahead and slide it again. 
Very die click. Put the other one. Now you have a better hold. Now the way the buttons feel, it's not your best and it's not your worst either. I'd say this would be your nominal, your base. Got your shoulder and trigger buttons. Feels okay. Clicking and good feedback. You got your home button, thumbsticks, up and down, X, Y, B, A. Select start buttons. Here's just a view in the back. You could actually stand it up too. Just a reminder, we did get the bundle, so these are all extra. If you buy the Switch only, it doesn't come with this. Micro SD, the membership, and the bag. Show you guys what the bag looks like. Nice, good, solid case. Will definitely protect your Switch. The back side, you have these raised corners here. Got a handle to hold it. Let's open it up. You have a zipper pocket on top. Let's see what's inside. You got a nice microfiber cloth. That's nice. To just clean your screen. Oh, it does come with screen protector. You have 10 card game slots or pockets. Let's open up our Mario Odyssey. This one also doesn't have a manual. Nice and fit. Put in our Mario Kart. Our Minecraft. You have the Velcro here to latch it on. Flip it up. This is where your Nintendo Switch goes. To remove the Joy-Con, same way. Press the button. Push up. Other side. Put in our Switch, same way. You have these rails here. Just go ahead and slide down. Do you hear a click? Same on the other side. Now we're on handheld mode. Nice. You have four corners here for the shoulder or trigger buttons. So either you can put it this way or the other way. It's up to you. In here, nicely tucked. It's on top. Lock it in. Nice, snug, and fit. You don't have to worry about it falling down. Close it and zip it up. Good to go. Let's turn on our switch. Press the power button. Let's set it up. Now this is a touchscreen. Either use the touchscreen or the sticks. We're going to go with the sticks. We don't want to get any fingerprints in there. So select A. Depending on where you're from, just go ahead and click it. Read all this. Accept. Connect to the internet. Just go ahead and put in your information. Put in your password. Click OK. We'll connect to the TV later. Go ahead and detach your Joy-Con controls by pressing the buttons in the back. Click next. Since we don't have a user, let's go ahead and add one. Create a new one. I used to play Star Fox a lot. Then enter a nickname, up to you. Let's go ahead and create a Nintendo account since we don't have one. Create a new account. Do it through email. Then put in your date of birth. So go ahead and put in your email. You might as well update it now. Click A. Now we're in the home screen. And go ahead and get that five digit confirmation code from your email. Go ahead and link it. Click OK. So this is all preference. Go ahead and go to your system settings. Go all the way to themes. For us, we just like it dark mode. Let's go to your system. Make sure it's updated. We have the current version. Now at the home screen here, you got the Nintendo Switch online. You got news. This is just like, you know, like your feed. You got to go eShop, your album, controllers, settings, and all that. But since we got our game installed in there, let's go ahead and play the Super Smash Brothers. Click A. Nice. And it also vibrates. He has some rumble in there. Now you're ready to play. Our handheld mode. Or use your grips. Now that we got our dock next to our TV, put our switch. You can see that's connected, it's charging. Click the home button. You have a green light on the side of the dock here showing that it's connected. Click on your TV settings. I just put everything on automatic. Now adjust the screen size. This is if it just doesn't align with your TV. You could go smaller. Just go 100. This one, I just go 1080p. And you get to play with our big screen. As far as gaming and charging, it's about five to nine hours of playing. 
and you can use the dock to charge your switch or any USB-C cable and it takes about 3 hours. So that's your Nintendo OLED switch. Now if you buy it solo, it comes with the Joy-Con controllers. You got the power and HDMI cables, Joy-Con straps, the switch, the grip, and the dock. And since we bought it as a bundle, it came with the bag. 128 SD card, screen protector, and a year membership. Thank you for watching. Let's hurry it up to another video.